Good morning, oil traders. Happy Monday. It is 9.05 a.m. Eastern Time. We're still about 25 minutes away from markets open here on the East Coast. Um, but as you can see, European and Asian trading overnight, um, overnight for us, has had us uh, testing uh, 49, retesting 49, um, kind of getting as high as I think 48.90 um, and then bouncing off. Um, we haven't fallen too far, we're in the, still in the mid 48s, which is where basically we ended the session last week. Uh, so nothing much yet has happened. Uh, and the true test really will be if we manage to get below 48. Um, as I speak, you know, we're bouncing up 15 cents here from a low of 48, what is it, 48.39? Uh, yeah, 48.39, 48.38 maybe. Um, up to uh, oh, 48.55 at the moment. Um, I, you know, it's likely that we're just going to bounce around this range um, for the first couple of hours of today's trading session here on the East Coast. Uh, but you know, given the fact that we did have this big drop on Thursday, as you can see here on the left of the chart, um, from a high of 40, uh, excuse me, 50.22, um, all the way down to a low of 4836 and then we've been bouncing up and down um, so obviously everybody's going to be anticipating on a definitive direction here um, I'm inclined to expect obviously I'm a little bit biased uh, because m most of my portfolio is short as you can see from my tradingjournal.ca account uh, that being said um, you know it, it looks like it's time. Uh, if we zoom out to the one month here, you can see that you know we've had a few attempts already at getting higher, getting back to the 50-50 mark or close there too, uh, but unsuccessfully. And now we're making new lows for the past two weeks um, since the climb up end of July. So it certainly seems to appear as though the bulls have run out of steam and it's time for the bears to roar, I guess. Um, but uh, still, until we crack through below 48, anything's possible and it's still very realistic that we're going to be back over $50 even today. So play cautiously as I will. Um, I'm going to be selling rather aggressively my short positions if we do fall. I'm not going to make that same mistake as last week, you know, expecting a bigger drop that never really materializes. Um, it's nice when they happen, but honestly, I should be sticking to my rules and taking profits when I can get them. Um, so <clears throat> I'm not going to forget that anytime soon. I'll, I'm sure I'll forget it again, but not anytime soon. Um, so I'll be selling shorts um, below 48. And if we do head back up over 49, I'll be repurchasing that short from 49 and a half, depending on where it is that we land, hopefully closer to 50 if we do go up. Um, but I will wait at least until Europe's close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, if not later. Uh, that's my plan. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. And uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of close at 4 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.